Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel where we make photorealistic assets together. Today I got a bit of a different video for you. I will show you how I epically failed an asset. After my last video where I had so much fun designing that porcelain skull thing, I wanted to design something else right away using the power of real-time texturing in Substance Painter. And I failed pretty badly. Remember all those steps I show you on how to concept your own thing? Well, I didn't follow them. I came up with a weird idea and tried to make it work. It didn't. I almost gonna just scrap the whole video and do something else. But I think to show you how I epically failed, it's still useful, can learn what not to do. So, here's how everything started. I was browsing the internet and I saw this. I remembered how much I love this concept. Maybe I should attempt this material in substance. Hmm. Oh, I have this face I can use to make it. It's meant to be. Let's design some panel breakup. But what do I put in the back though? How about combining some organic shapes with this very mechanical looking face? Wow, good idea just keep coming to me. Let's start the sculpting. First, I just carved in the panel lines and see how it works on the actual model. Right now, she looks a little bit naked. Maybe she needs some accessory. At this stage, I don't have any detail. Mostly, I'm just checking out the silhouette of everything. Then, I decide to carve out the back of her head and put some organic shape there as well. After a little bit more sculpting of the back, I settled on this design. I make sure I look at it from a distance and keep checking out if the silhouette works. After looking at it for a while, I start to not like the shoulder piece, so I changed it into something else. As I was changing the model, I also put it into Photoshop and start to do some rough sketch of what the final look will be like. Since we don't really have a finished concept to match this to, want to make sure the idea actually works. And this is the final concept I settle on. At this stage, I'm also starting to think about how I'm gonna set up my scene in substance. I think I will split the face into two udim. One is the red area and another one is the white area. I mask out the area and split up the geometry. I know that mechanical assets like this require high precision and my sculpt is simply not gonna work. So I need to figure out a way to rebuild this in Maya. So this is how I decide to do it. Since I'm very, very slow with hard surface modeling, I will see remesh every section of the face and bring it into Maya to do cleanup. Here I have the Z remeshed base mesh and I'm going to export this OBJ and bring it to Maya. First, I'm going to clean up all these areas that I don't need. You can see that due to my messy sculpt, there's a lot of messy geometry we need to clean up. Zero Mesh is a great tool to get some fast typology going. But for super smooth surface like this, we really need great precision. For this specific asset, I think this step is very necessary. What I did here is I exported the full sculpted face into Mari and I make it a live object. I select the geometry I'm trying to clean up. Then I select quad draw. So now whatever geometry you selected is gonna stick on the live object that you chose. You can tell it's working when that piece of geometry become blue. Now if I adjust this geometry, it's gonna follow the shape of the face. This is my little way to cheat when I'm not good at hard surface organic modeling. After some cleanup, this is what it looks like. I think the geometry is good enough for what I need it for. I just need to finish the model by adding some edges and bevels. This is what I have in the end. I assigned those colors to the face and just to see how it works. This is what it looks like in ZBrush after I imported. I want to quickly show you what I decide to do with the UV. 
Mostly I have two UDIM for the face and two UDIM for the thing in the back. For the face, I separate it according to the color. So I can use one shader for each UDIM and I don't need to share anything. Now we can start in substance. I already did the map bake. I'm going to throw some simple shaders on there just to check if the idea is working and to also check the quality of the bake. This default plastic shader is actually a pretty good starting point. I'm using the ghost in the shell concept as the main reference. In general, this is a very clean and new surface. What we really need to capture is those micro scratches and uh, light dust. I'm going to create a new fill layer and only affect color and roughness. I will create a mask for this layer and start to testing out some preset procedural scratches. Normally, I will test out what substance has first before I go out and looking for something else. Actually, we don't need this fill layer to affect color at all because these scratches are so subtle. Just having the difference in roughness is enough for us. I'm just playing around with different settings and maps until it looks like the reference. Of course, the concept is just a general idea. I don't have to follow it exactly. I'm also going to add some edge weathering and some extra chip breakup. I'm also adding a very light layer of dust. Since this material itself is very clean, I'm trying to make the spec breakup as interesting as possible. I'm displaying everything just to check the idea again. I have two ideas for this back piece. It's either gonna be a weathered iron or it's going to be a jade material. The only way to find out is just have to make the material quickly in substance and see how it looks. I put some quick oxidation and edge detail on the iron. I can check my idea again. And I really didn't like how it looks, so I decided to try out the jade material. I think the reason why I was checking so much is because I was having a lot of doubt of my original idea. In reality, this thing doesn't make any sense. At this point, I start to feel like this is not gonna work out. But I thought it would be fun and a learning process to try to create jade in Substance Painter. What I did was I created a new fill layer and let it only affect scattering. Actually, first, you need to go into each UDIM and make sure your shader has a scattering effect. After that, I applied my thickness map as the mask. The scattering of the object is controlled by a black and white mask. The wider the area, the more scattering it has. Here, I'm playing around with the level of my thickness map to test out different level of scattering that best mimic the jade material. I'm also starting to add some color variation. Gonna add some light tones on the edge area. I also decide to make the color darker and desaturated. It is what I originally wanted for my concept. At this point, I pretty much know this is not going anywhere. It's simply too weird of an idea, and at this point, I'm not sure how I can make it work. I'm just playing around to see if I can make this jade material looking a little bit better. I'm trying out different color for the edge, different color for the jade itself. I don't really have any direction for this. The solid edge is looking very odd, so I'm doing a little bit of hand painting to break it up. I'm also adding another layer of uh, color variation. This one is more for the cavity area. This is what the whole thing looks like in the end. I know it didn't turn out the way I want it to be. But it was a great practice in terms of modeling, sculpting, and testing out new materials in Substance Painter. I really hope you can get something out of this as well. This whole experience reminded me of something I read in Marco Bucci's book, Creativity and the Campfire. It's a chapter called Ideas Are Only Seeds. Quote, idea is cheap and execution is everything, unquote. 
I came up with a pretty weird idea, and I didn't really do the proper steps to execute it. I will definitely try to design something else again and do it better next time. I will see you in the next one.